Howdy y'all. The message for today is to not allow bitter, ugly people to ruin your shine because you're always going to shine so much brighter than they ever will. Hey girl. So hello my beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person. Now Pisces, I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign, which I'll go ahead and leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like. But when it comes to any of my readings, uh, Pisces, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Pisces. You know your situation better than ever possibly could, Pisces, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, if you find some cards that resonate with you, Pisces, be sure to let me know which cards do and how they do in the comments below, because that's how I keep up with y'all, so the comments. And then I would really appreciate it, Pisces, for you to give this video a like and subscribe if it does resonate with you, because I know you guys don't have to do it, but when you guys take the time to do that for me, it does help out my channel a lot. Um, so when you guys do, do, do like and subscribe, I always just appreciate it. But um, finally, uh, Pisces, this reading here is just to give you some perspective, some food for thought. I'm not here to make a decision in your life um this is just something for you to consider as you go throughout your week because ultimately it's your life to live not mine so with all that being said pisces let's start getting into your energy for this week between you and your person now i pulled uh three different cards for you for your general overall energy pisces i have a sneeze and so don't mind me if you see this face like no <coughs> ah <coughs> oh my gosh <laughs> As I was saying, Pisces, I apologize. I pulled a moon card for you, moon oracle card, as well as two tarot cards. So let's pull, let's look at this moon oracle card first. We have the full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Beautiful card to have. This is, whenever I see this card though, I can't help but feel like, um, Pisces, there's some type of insecurity when it comes to your own character. Because it's just like, why, if spirit has to bring in the full moon in Aquarius telling you to show the world the real you, then my next question is, well, why aren't you doing that in the first place? Why does spirit need to give you this affirmation to be like, no, it's okay to um, be authentic. It's okay to show your true self to this person, right? I'm sorry, there's like, now I'm having like hiccups. I'm just a train, I'm always like a train wreck for y'all's readings, Pisces. I apologize. <laughs> um, and I feel like there is like just some type of like guarded energy behind wanting to be a little bit more vulnerable. Uh, Pisces, because we have the Queen of Swords coming in here, as well as the Knave of Wands. So, oh, my nose is starting to itch again. Um, I see this as like a, someone almost, dare I say, being a little bit insecure about their feelings, um, being like wanting to go forward in a connection, but then kind of just being like, once they start going forward, then they realize like, oh, no, 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 no. And you're a little bit too guarded, a little bit too defensive. And then you end up retreating, right? You start feeling things probably a little bit too much or things start feeling a little bit real. And then there's some type of resistance on your side, some type of sabotage. It doesn't have to be on your side, right? Because since this is the general energy of things, this could be um, on their side as well. So um, very interesting. Uh, Pisces. Let's start pulling some cards. I'm going to be pulling a card, Pisces, on your side of things, on their side of things, and then a, a card for um, the energy between y'all two. Don't mind me. Like, I'm so distracted with pulling these cards while trying to speak. <laughs> Apparently, I can't do two things at once right now. So, Pisces, let's break this down. We see on your side of things the Ten of Cups. So beautiful card to have. I see you're just kind of in this place of, um, I can't help but feel like Pisces, that you feel like you found the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with, or you found like your person, right? You found someone that you really enjoy this connection. You found someone that like, you just really want to make it work with. I feel like you're able to acknowledge that there's some deep connection between y'all two, but I feel like seeing this person sparked something inside of you that you can't quite ignore um we have on their side of things the eight of cups coming in for them so this is probably well on your side of things you're like you see this person and you're like wow this is a like something there's potential here right you really just have that spark you felt that spark eight of cups this is like for this to be their energy pisces i can't help but feel like this person 
not necessarily walked away from this connection. Well, I guess you could say they walked away from this, but they probably just aren't honoring this. They probably maybe, not to say they, um, they don't appreciate your feelings, Pisces, but I kind of get the sense that maybe like they have like their own sabotage going on where it's just like, they walked away from like a really good thing, right? With these cups being filled, it does seem to be, they seem like probably a little bit more resistant on their side um, when it comes to this connection. So it's probably, that's probably where the guarded energy is coming in, right? They're probably the queen of swords. If I were to associate a tarot card for each one, like they're probably the queen of swords where they're a little bit guarded, not wanting to really be vulnerable to you, showing to any type of vulnerability to you. Well, you are the knave of wands, the knight of wands, and you are really feeling things. But there's like this insecurity of being like really just letting your emotions out, letting opening up your heart to them. Um, because there's maybe some type of insecurity behind us opening up. You don't want to not be received well by that person, right? Because, I mean, it doesn't matter who it is. Rejection hurts, right? And so the energy between y'all two Pisces is the Seven of Cups. A choice needing to be made, but there is some type of indecision, right? A lot of things to consider. But again, it's, it's, just, it's just in this place of just a freeze, right? I do see this as like, it's interesting how there's just cups across the row. Actually, I'm just now noticing that for all of you guys, Pisces. But it does seem to be where it's just like... It's like all these cups, but no stable energy with the pentacles. No, I mean, there's passion on your side, it seems, but there's no passion, it seems, on their side. I don't know. Let's pull some clarifiers to really break this down because it is like with that seven of cups being that energy, it's interesting. So we're going to be pulling cards. Oh, the already card comes flying out. I'm pulling cards now for your ten of cups, Pisces, on your side of things to, st to start out this reading. My gosh. And the first card that flew out was the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is, I do see things like, I see you getting what it is that you want. And I kind of want to preface, preface, um, it may not be with this person, right? I am going to just be completely blunt. Um, it could be, right? But I always associate tens as the closing of a cycle. So when you have the Ten of Cups, there could be a closing of a cycle. And then the Wheel of Fortune, if you notice, the Wheel of Fortune, the number for it is 10. So one thing I want to say, write down 10 for numerology. But you have two different cards talking about closure and the fact that the Wheel of Fortune pops out. It's this like, uh, it's like oh, okay. Now this could be closure in terms of like, closing off this phase of like resistance, right? The, and just closing out this phase of um, being emotionally resistant or blocked off towards this person, closed off in terms of closing the cycle of you perhaps constantly avoiding being vulnerable, right? Four of Pentacles as the back of the deck energy. Let's see these clarifiers though. So here's all the Pentacles now. <laughs> We have that four of pentacles is the back of the deck energy. So it's just kind of like trying to figure out where you, like you want. It's like you have your cash in hand and you're just like, you really want to make an investment with this person. But it's just like, ooh, I'm sorry, I just hit the camera. <laughs> but it's like, you don't like, it's like you really, I don't know. Pisces, it's like you really want to put your coins in this, but it's just like there is some type of thing that causes you to pause. And I do feel like it's because of what's going on with the Eight of Cups, right? Because it's just like, you just don't want to show any more of your emotion until like they start giving you something, right? Until they start um, affirming your emotions, right? So we have the Page of Pentacles with this Two of Cut, uh, Pentacles. This is definitely um, a choice needing to be made. Um, I see it as kind of like two different roads that you can take. Pisces, where it's just like one road is the familiar road that you've been taking with this person in whatever way that looks like for you. And, they, and then the other option is like a new beginning entirely, right? And so and going on with that transparency from before, um, Pisces, I see a lot of you guys taking the new road. I see a lot of you guys as this page, taking the page of pentacles going into that new beginning. Pages represents new beginnings. Um, 
I can't help but feel like you're kind of over the chaos. You're over the drama of it all. Even if there's not drama, like actual like fighting between y'all two, no communication, there's drama just going on in your head in terms of just like how you're feeling, the thoughts that you're having when it comes to this connection. Like you're just tired of having to put so much energy into something that's not paying out, right? Queen of Pentacles is the energy that you are kind of sinking into, which is, I enjoy this energy because Queen of Pentacles is the card of, you know, tending to the self, you know, self-care. Um, notice, like, you go from this chaotic background, right? The Two of Pentacles is like a chaotic environment. You go into, from that chaotic environment to, like, complete opposite, going into the na out in nature, being by yourself, being around the mountains, right? Being in a complete, being in, ser uh, being in serenity, right? It's almost just like, wow, that might be a hard decision for you to, like, it's probably not going to be an easy decision for you to make, Pisces, because it's like, I see you with that Ten of Cups really wanting this person. The Knave of Wands, uh, or Knight of Wands, I really do see you, like, passionately just, like, really feeling them. But it's just like, it's like you're pushed, you're getting pushed to the point where you're just, like, giving up, right? And you're just like, this, this noise, all this white noise just isn't worth it closing out the row six of wands so regardless of whatever happens six of wands comes out to tell you and affirm to you that vic like this is the card of victory this is a card of where um yeah regardless of like whatever path you choose to take that I was that i was talking about in that fork in the road it's leading you to victory i see it as you going into the new energy entirely but you know it's your choice, right? So let's start getting some clarifiers now for their Eight of Cups. Let's see what's up with them. Pisces. Oh my gosh, these cards just fly out. I can't take all of these either. So give me one moment, Pisces, as I do a little bit of a reshuffle on this. <clears throat> Honey, okay, I guess this deck just doesn't want to be used anymore today, so. <laughs> Because a card, some cards just flew out in front of me, and I just cannot be bothered to get them right now, Pisces. So we're gonna be using this deck instead. Let's see what is up with this Eight of Cups with your person, Pisces. I've never dealt with such a obstinate moment trying to get cards, right? It's probably how you probably felt in this connection as well, Pisces. Maybe is where it's just like you're like, like it's just like never met someone so resistant towards such a good thing. So cards coming out. I still can't like, these cards are even flying out. Oh my god. Death and Rebirth card is their back of the deck energy. Uh, interesting. <laughs> um, we'll put a pin on this, Pisces, because I definitely can see this going in a multitude of ways. But the clarifiers that I, uh, we have for them are the Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. So with that death card, I can't help but feel Pisces. You know how I kept on getting this sense of where I was just like, I can't help but feel like you're moving on, Pisces, from this person, regardless of platonic or romantic. I feel like that's kind of what's essential for them, right? They have the death and rebirth card. I feel like you gave them this wake up moment where like, through that closure, you out on those tens in your pile, through closing this off, this kind of took them for a loop. This took this shocked them, Pisces, with this death and rebirth card, this ending of a phase. And it's because of that, like, they're in this state of two of wands, right? They're in this being like, well, now what? Right? Nine of swords, they're, you know, the two of wands is like contemplating, figuring out the next move. But all the while, nine of swords comes in where it's a bunch of anxiety. They're in their head, right? It's just like constant thoughts and things that are keeping them up at night. So it's one of those things where it's just like they probably end up having like a little bit of um, regret not taking action towards this, right? I don't see them getting into this state naturally, though. I, I really don't, Pisces. I see, I think they, it's kind of like one of those things they don't realize what it is that they had until they're without, right? Ten of Swords comes in for them as well, where it's just like they probably, they probably do see, real, like, realize where the pain, like, Maybe they aren't aware that how much pain you are experiencing in this connection, Pisces, but I definitely see them in this place of self-reflection being like, okay, like, they're not happy with this, but they can understand, like, why you would choose to, like, move on from them and no longer put energy into them, right? I don't see them chasing you, I'm going to be honest. Um, Queen of Discs, yeah, I don't see them... 
Pisces. <laughs> I don't see them chasing you. I kind of see them kind of reclusing in a little bit more, matching you in that Queen of Pentacles energy. They're kind of, it's almost like they're mirroring you almost, where it's just like, they're not going to fight for you. And that probably is like part of the issue is like they don't ever try they don't put their effort in they kind of just mirror you so it's just like you say one thing to them and you can't get a reaction out of them because they're just like oh okay and they just like they don't like they'll take they'll feel it inwardly but they won't show it at all so it is just like you're left with a decision you're just left with just being like okay like i guess i'm just gonna go now right so Let's look at the energy for between y'all two is the Seven of Cups. See what's going on here with that decision, right? Are you, you know, are you going to end up making that decision of walking away, Pisces? Or are you going to try to like work it out with this person a little bit longer? Let's see. One more. Two more. Let's see. I can't take all these. Let's see. Do one more shuffle. Actually, no, you won't. Okay. <laughs> these, these cards are being so obstinate for your reading, uh, Pisces. Back of the deck energy, four of cups. You're tired of waiting. Someone's tired of waiting, I guess. Um, well, it does seem like someone else is like in this. No, I see like this as like you're tired of waiting. You're tired of trying to like look at the options, right? Um, Queen of Swords with the eight of swords and the magician card yeah you're tired of waiting pisces you're tired of there being like some type of stalemate you're tired of feeling stuck in this environment you don't enjoy this environment at all right especially notice how remember what i was saying earlier pisces about your environment chaotic environment this is the chaos right this is why i was saying it's just like i feel like you take the path in that page of pentacles into that new start where there's less white noise less chaos less stuff that's like making you feel constricted and trapped right you break free from it queen of swords you start setting strong boundaries to me like you know what i'm gonna just be by myself for a while you don't want to deal with people um queen of swords is definitely that taking action towards being by yourself towards being like the lone wolf for a while and it's through you being a lone wolf pisces the magician card comes in where it's just like the magician is the master of their own reality they create the future that they want so it's just like you're identifying the feelings that you don't like and you're removing anything that's causing these feelings to come in to remove that and then bringing forth in just more positive energy manifesting whatever it is that you want to manifest whether that's new love or what have you remember you have the victory card coming in as your closing energy pisces so I really just see this painting out to be so beautifully for you, regardless of the, the, the honey, regardless of the decision that you end up making, Pisces. I really do see things working out in your favor. I see this as where um, you're just happy. You end up being happy with the person that you are, and maybe you don't realize the person that you truly are until you let go from the constrictions of this, right? Until you allow yourself to just be um, a lone wolf for a while. But um, interesting reading, Pisces. That's the cards that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Pisces. And then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, though, Pisces, I love you so much. Bye.